Hey everybody, so this is our stock tank pool. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about everything that you need to know before you do one of these. And I've left it dirty for a reason, to show you what you can look forward to when you got some kids and what they really like, what they don't, and the maintenance and how to take care of it. And if I were to do it over again, what would I do differently? So let's get right to it. At the end of this video, I'm gonna talk about my debacle with the liner, like what happened to it, why did it die? and it did die, and how long did it last? I'll talk about that at the end of this video. Samantha has given me permission to cut the liner out, so that's what I'm gonna do. Kinda didn't want the liner to begin with, but she wanted it, so here we go. So I figured you deserved you know, everything I've learned about this. And if you've been watching me build this, talk about it on the channel, um, there's a few things that you know we've learned over the last few months of owning it. One, it's been a ton of fun, and it's fixed our problem with just a place to cool off with. I got about eight things that you should probably think about. One, the size, okay? This is an eight-foot, eight-foot stock tank. I got it from Harbor Freight. I think you could, if you watch the last video, you'll see where we got it. I've had between three and five people in this thing at one time. Uh, two, three adults sitting in it, two kids or one kid splashed around in it. It's about capacity. Uh, if I were to be able to do it again, I would try to get the 10 foot, but Harbor Freight didn't carry the 10 foot in my part of the country and you had to go all the way to Texas for it. Um, I didn't really want to pay the shipping and handling for it, but if I could get, get my hands on a 10 foot, I would have done a 10 foot right off the bat. The next one is your pump. See my pump over here? I did not want to cut the holes in the side of the, the tank because less holes, the better. And I didn't want to deal with, because we had a liner in it, I'll get to that in a minute but I didn't want to deal with holes and leaking and all that kind of problem. I would get the biggest pump you can get that doesn't make a hurricane in this thing. Um, that one is the C1500, I'll link it down below. Works pretty good, it's got a somewhat timer on it and, I, and that's pretty good. You want it to run for about an hour and a half and then shut off. You need to run it every day for about an hour and a half. You gotta get this thing moving, okay? Now it will filter like some of the algae. You need to put, see the little floater right here? This little guy right here, I'll link it down below too. You need to like two-ish chlorine tablets in it, get them from Lowe's, um, and it keeps this pretty clean. I let it rain in it. Um, the chlorine and the circulation tends to just keep the water from getting mercury. Now I will say this, not a lot of water in there. Get in with it, a lot of sunscreen, bug spray, anything like that. You're gonna have to change the water eventually. Um, the last time we changed it, it took, uh, I think it was in there for over a month, almost two months before we needed to change the water. It got kind of milky. I accidentally skipped a day from letting the uh, pump run and you know that was a thing. I had to change the water out, but here's how I changed the water out. You see on the pump over here, I took the top off, pulled the filter out, and I just let the water squirt out of the pump and it, it got all the water out of this in about 20 minutes. And then I took a, took a vacuum cleaner, a shop vac, shop vacked out the rest of it, you know, the last little bit, and we were good to go. Um, as you can see the sand, see the sand in here? I got a little munchkin, it gets out, runs in the dirt, comes in, jumps back in. So I get sand in the bottom of it. And the only way really to get that out is with a shop vac. I just stick it down there, turn shop vac on, suction it up, pull it out, clean. Or you, when you, um, you know, finally get all the water out, then you can just shop back it out. That's been the biggest thing is keeping that clean. You also need one of these. See the, uh, the long net I got there? Little Jack's job is get the leaves out of the pool. You need one of those. And that tends to take care of most of our problems. Got it for low, from Lowe's for about 19 bucks. And I just go through and get all the bugs out. Now, bugs. Bugs will get in it. We ordered a, you know, little top for it. Uh, I'll link that down below. It's just a cover. But here's the problem we had with that. You see when I was cutting it out, when I was building the deck, you can't get the cover in between the lip of the tank and you know to latch it down. I had that problem. So I haven't put the cover on it. Um, it hasn't really been a problem. I just kind of every day come out and get the leaves out keep the pool you know, circulating, put my chemicals in it, it's been fine. This thing has been really easy to maintain, I will say that. But if you're using it a lot, the water is gonna get dirty. It's just not a lot of water. Same way with a hot tub. Also, we started doing a little stone 
path around the edge just so when you get out you don't get as much sand in the pool um, that's that's kind of a thing to do you could just do a little piece of turf or something like that you can see I have the intake right there I put a brick on the end of it just because it'll unprime itself if it comes out of the water and then you got to prime the pump again because it gets an air bubble in it just FYI um, whether you want to do a, a sand filter or salt water or you want to do you know a regular filter that's totally up to you we ordered this thing offline for like 80 90 bucks i'll link it down below um and and that's really it it's been pretty simple uh eight feet you can find pretty much any tractor supply 10 feet that one's tough i would try to do the biggest i can six feet seems to be a little that's like a two-person pool maybe this is just for sitting and lounging having a margarita and chilling and that's what we use it for on our deck here and uh, it's worked pretty well. I mean, we didn't want to, we didn't have the time to put in a pool. We didn't want to deal with that this year. And this has been a pretty economical decision. So last maintenance has been pretty minimal. Um, we do our best. Uh, we jump in it. We use the, the, the net. We get out as many bugs, make it as clean as possible, run this you know, once a day and keep a couple tablets floating around in the little bobber over there. And that's really um, the gist of it. Uh, I, I, we had a liner in it. Um, you might have noticed we had a liner before. The liner got a hairline pinhole in it. Water in between the tank and the liner. And the only way I know how to get rid of it is to cut the liner out. It's in between the tank and the liner. So check this out. See, I've got as much water as I could out of it, but and see it's under the liner, as far as I can tell. I guess me and little Jack coursing around, him throwing his pools and his, his toys in the water, or he did throw a brick in it a couple times, one of those. And I think it made a pinhole, so there was like a gap of water in between the liner and then the tank. And I was like, you know what, it's toast. Like I gotta get, I gotta get the water out of the bottom, it's just gonna algae up. So I cut it up and this has been way easier to take care of. <laughs> um, yeah, um, probably not as pretty. You just wanna make sure there's no burr marks anywhere in the pool, you know, where the, the, the metal was welded together, like especially, I don't know if you can see over there. But once you get past that, um, I would rather it be like this. Me and Samantha argued for a while about it, but I kinda like this better stays clean. And then also whatever kind of chemical you're using, you need to make sure that it does not rust the tank. So like if you see over here, I had the liner on it and you can see it started to corrode a little bit. I don't know if that was the chemicals and the heat in between the liner and it started getting a little uh, oxification. I don't know if you call that oxification or whatever. Um, as you can see right there, that's the only other thing I've seen. And and, and, you know, if you have to silicone any of the joints in case you get a small leak. But I mean, this thing was like 498 bucks, 500 bucks. A little pool pump. If it lasts a few years, cool. I think it's going to last longer in a few years. And it solved our pool problem for the year. So this was our Facebook Marketplace find. This is the umbrella. And literally, that is a plant potter with some quick creed in the bottom of it. And they put a rod holder in it to be able to hold... The umbrella it was genius and then i uh, got the two chairs genius and this was off our old back porch and sat these out here got that thing off facebook marketplace little jack loves it and uh, the two chairs right there and just got weird with a deck i'm gonna put a seat right there a little made out of two by 12 to cover up the little hole right there and that was because this used to just be an old deck and i had to just get weird with building another deck and, uh, you know, I would definitely make it again. We, we did our best and uh, it's been enjoyable. Jick, little Jack's had so much fun in this little thing. Like it's undescribable how much fun he's had in it versus having nothing or having a little Walmart pool that we had to change the water out every weekend and get the algae out every weekend just cause there was no pump and there was no chemicals. So I hope that this video, uh, helped you out with whether you want to decide it or not. And, uh, comment down be below and I'll see you guys on the next video.